Should disaster strike, thousands of persons could be converging on St. Lucia's emergency shelters. But how equipped are these shelters? Do they have standby generators in case of power failure? These are some of the issues that Acting Prime Minister Leonard Matute expressed concern about. We talk about shelters and should we be struck by a hurricane that is devastating and homes are destroyed, we are, we, it is expected that people will leave their dwelling place and go to those shelters. How structurally safe are those shelters? How adequate are those shelters? And I mean, I say adequate. If you're going to designate a building as a, a shelter, shouldn't there be a cistern at that building, knowing that normally when we have such disasters, our water system, is, our mains are, are knocked out? Should you have, shouldn't you have generators at, at, at those shelters, considering that it's very likely that electricity will be knocked out and probably for a while? Mr. Motut was uncertain as to how often these shelters are being inspected. Ministry of Infrastructure inspect those buildings and so on. But I do not know how, uh, and I do not know the regularity with which that is done. And that is something we must consider because even during the storm, I was getting reports of designated shelters that were not fit to be shelters. And we have to be careful about things like this because, I mean, the state would be liable if you are asking people to go to a shelter that is, is not structurally safe and, and so on. And besides, if we're looking at mitigating you know, against the, the impact of, of, for example, hurricanes, we ought to know that those buildings can withstand, you know, a certain force winds. The acting Prime Minister was a guest on Newsmaker Live. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas.